Um, we can't talk about the students without ta talking about the teachers because um, the teachers encourage this and help make it happen. We have 11 educators receiving the Presidential Innovation Award for Environmental Educators and two who are um, getting an honorable mention distinction. Um, this award is one of the country's highest honors awards for public school teachers. Um, so I think that's worth saying again. This is one of the nation's highest honor awards for public school teachers from EPA and the CEQ. So good for us. <laughs> Our public schools, I don't need to tell you this, but I'm going to say it anyway. They are the foundation of our nation. They are our future. They are anchor institutions in, in every community across the country. And we rely on these public school teachers to deliver so much for our children and for our future. Um, and uh, I think we have um, uh, come to realize this even more during the past several years. Um, when our country has been so stressed and our children have been so stressed. Um, and as I told you, I, I see this firsthand um, because I, I hear about it from, from my daughter. So I want to thank every single teacher who is here today um, and um, those who are not here today for the work that you do um, to, uh, to keep our children safe, to keep them inspired, to keep them learning, um, and to help build this country uh, to the country that we want it to be. EPA Region 10, Mr. Alfonso Gonzalez, Jr. Mr. Gonzalez has implemented the Ocean Garden School, in School Project, sponsored by NOAA, which engages, engages students in understanding water quality through hands-on activities. Congratulations, Mr. Gonzalez.